We're gonna yeah. go this direction. We're just gonna bite the bullet. Yeah. Pay the deposit. I mean, we signed the papers. Mm -hmm. We paid the money. Mm -hmm. We had it set. Yep. Everything ready to go. Yep. And so then we decided that our kids are. What's up, guys? Hey guys. Welcome back. Today we're discussing our children and their schooling, giving you an update yeah. on that. So anyway, the last video you guys saw, they did go to the first date and you guys saw what happened if you didn't go watch it and come <laughs> back. But I had several conversations or we had several conversations with some parents, teachers. Mm -hmm. The parents were reassuring. They said if you bring something up, usually the school does address it. Yeah. And I guess one of the ladies I went to said her son had a similar experience and it got so bad to the point where they had to sit his entire class down <laughs> and speak to them yeah. about, you know, boundaries and mm -hmm. what not to do and things of that nature. That kind of made me feel more relaxed, but the more I thought about it, the more, I'm not sure who else we spoke to, but it was just like, Oh, this school seems more liberal than I would right. I would like. A little bit worldly. Yep. Yeah. And it's not that the teachers are pushing a certain agenda. We've heard only good things about the prof the teachers there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more like the students bringing influence mm -hmm. to other students. Right. Well, it kind of seems like students are just given free reign to kind yeah. of perpetuate whatever they see fit. Mm-hmm. And that's concerning. So right now it works because Bella shares with me everything. She tells mm -hmm. me everything, especially when it comes to like girly things. She doesn't tell her dad. She comes to me <laughs> rightfully. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's working for us, but I, I can only imagine, you know, how about children who don't tell their parents what are the what are they being told by the other kids that they're not checking with their parents to mm -hmm. be, is this true? Is it, not true but anyway at the end of all that guys i mean we signed the papers mm -hmm. we paid the money mm -hmm. we had it set yep. everything ready to go yep. and so then we decided that our kids are going to just be homeschool homeschool yeah <laughs> i know it's been like a long road because we oh. even in the middle of trying to decide if we wanted to go send them to private school mm -hmm. there was a point where after they had visited we were like this seems a little crazy let's mm -hmm. let's look into this other local yeah. public school yeah and see about oh, that yeah. there and was so that like too. there was like several weeks where we were leaning into that yeah we're like okay we're gonna send them to this other one mm -hmm. it's a little more conservative values yeah um, but then we're like you know they don't have the sports that we're hoping for for the kids it was and bigger yeah it was it was a little bigger, bigger. we mm -hmm. didn't like that as much not as many then, black right not as diverse so we wondered about that yeah. too and so we, we ended up back at the private school private thinking, school. okay, we're going to yeah. go this direction. We're just going to bite the bullet, yeah. pay the deposit, you know, <laughs> jump, jump through all the yeah. hoops. And we were like a couple of weeks away from like our first monthly payment going in. Oh, I know what triggered it for me. Uh, we had gone to see some friends mm -hmm. and I was just observing their children and um, I kind of saw my family in in them mm -hmm. um great group of people we love them yeah but i just saw they they themselves even said like their kids are changing their children have changed right um you know one mom actually i've had two parents have told me do not let your children on video games right. like they're the worst and all this stuff and so like I felt like I just kind of believe God gave me a glimpse to see what my family could look like if I'm not careful. Right. Um, and this particular family is also trying to rein back their rein in their children right. again. Yeah. So it's not they like realize where they're at. Where they're, they're very, at. Yeah. yeah they they make corrections and course correct. Yeah. It's not like they want it this way. Right. Yeah. And so, like, I felt a, like this huge responsibility. I told Jory, I was like, you know what? I know I've been really stressed because I've done homeschooling for so long. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my passion. I mm -hmm. wasn't homeschooled, but he wanted it for his children. <laughs> I so. pushed it a little too strong. And so like, I was like, you know what? I want to honor that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I did get weary and I'm, yeah. I got tired, but I felt like, um, you know, when I thought about that verse where, um, 
Paul talks about run the race, um, like with endurance, mm-hmm. reaching for the price in front of you, like yeah. ahead of you. So I thought of what happens now if I say, okay, I'm no longer going to home my, school my children. Right. And they get influenced to the point where they're completely like off track um, with the things of God and, mm-hmm. or, you know, honor and respect for parents and each other and things of that nature. I just felt like I didn't want to lose my heavenly reward yeah um because i'm so exhausted um (laughs) granted jory does help quite a bit now Mm -hmm. um as far as school is concerned so i think that's gonna be a little more different in that way is because he started helping last year he totally taught on his own yeah Uh, i did a couple of subjects here and there (laughs) but like i literally it was like my year off yeah pretty much um, so like, I just kind of felt convicted as a mom, like, I don't want, I just don't want to lose my heavenly reward because I grew weary mm-hmm. and I don't want my children to have to suffer for it. Um, right. cause I, we were seeing some changes already in them that I'm like, oh, you got the wrong house. Like <laughs> <laughs> that we didn't like yeah. that we had to say, oh, come that. on, yeah, yeah, come on back. <clears throat> um, so long story short that's kind of what we went with but it's going to be different this time because right yeah we're going to be doing instead of paper books Mm -hmm. we're going to be doing an online version of the same curriculum same curriculum and there are actually like lectures yeah from a teacher every morning for every subject yeah and so it'll be more of a facilitating role for me this year for us for us yeah um rather than um, like a lecturing, teaching, hands-on type stuff will be there to assist. Yeah. And so they'll do their stuff up until the point that they can't figure it out or absolutely need help. Right. Then we're there to help and just kind of facilitate the online learning. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm curious kind of how much is actually done for me and how much I'll have to do. So yeah. I'm sure I'll have to grade things. Well, and... the lecture, when we did the lecture, it was like the longest part. Right. For me, it and would And there take... were days I didn't do it because yeah. I was just like, ugh. That, you know, that's another thing. It's <laughs> I started like, slipping oh, on that. horrible at this stuff. But um, the lecture took up majority of time mm-hmm. and then them having to work on do their the work. work. Yeah. But um, it's nice to have like someone like doing the lectures and we mm-hmm. just have to be there like Jory said to what kind of help do they need? Wakanda. Uh, <laughs> Wakanda forever. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the route we decided. It's a little expensive. It's the same exact curriculum, just online. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've gone with this uh, Christian worldview based uh, curriculum yeah. for, from the beginning. Yeah. And, uh, I've had, we, we've had several people ask what curriculum we use. I'm just going to put it out there. It's <laughs> Bob Jones. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Is it Bob Jones University? Bob Jones University, University Press. Press. Yeah. Yep. We've used that since. Yeah, they're out of Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah. If you are like a more traditional teacher, that is a perfect fit for you. But if yep. you want your children doing like hands-on learning, right. it won't be a a good fit but right. i is, like it yeah it's designed for like a traditional classroom type setting mm-hmm. not for like a charlotte mason right it's that's not the one, yeah. what's the other one that's really popular that Ooh. great latin some latin i forget latin of, based yeah yeah what was that i can't remember what it's called but, oh i can't remember yeah either. anyway I, there's I a few different styles too. now this is this is more traditional styles so yeah this worked really well for us there's you know workbooks and mm-hmm. textbooks and tests and so yeah, and we're it also free us up to be able to uh, do more hands on with Ellie as right. far as learning goes. Yep. Like she's getting older, so yeah. she needs it. Yeah. So she's already <clears throat> learned her ABCs and has been able to recognize them. Now we've been working on that heavily mm-hmm. lately, and she finally got it. And so now we'd like to start pushing. We read to her, like Jordan right. reads to her every night. I right. read to her at nap time. And we read to her just sitting around. Mm-hmm. So she has a lot of reading. But I want her to be able to start like putting letters together. To and, form words. Yeah. yeah. She's extremely intelligent. Very smart. <laughs> because she's around us and yeah. the older kids. But 
we haven't been as intentional. Yes. I think probably because she comes off so intelligent. Yeah. And so we're like, hey, you know, we had yeah. the kids learning words younger. Yeah. We haven't done that with Ellie. With and Ellie. you just don't notice because yeah. she's like, her vocabulary is incredible okay. and she's so sharp. So, the other, but, but yes, we've slipped on a few of those things. So, so we want to get back. It, get would, it would free us up. Having them do online school yeah. will free us up to give yeah. her more attention in that attention right. in that way and we'll probably start early like we did last year so that we have a little time before she wakes up right so. but it was you know speaking of vocabulary the other day we were getting ready to film and i come out you know i make up down she's like oh mom you look drop dead gorgeous i'm like <laughs> first of all where'd you hear where that? did you hear that and second I, of all thank, thank you, you. <laughs> <laughs> But that's just Ellie. Some of the things, some of the words she uses, I'm like, I have not said that word. Right. So it's one of her siblings or yeah. something else. Mm -hmm. I know some of you are following their update, wanting to know what's going on with yeah. them. So that is what's happening. Back to the home classroom for us. <sighs> yes. Here we go again. Yeah. We're probably going to have to get them each a laptop. A laptop. Something yeah. inexpensive, something we can put the stuff on and mm -hmm. they can each go for it so. we also moved the classroom used to be upstairs right now that is our that's our bedroom, bedroom. It, we had the classroom in the official master bedroom master of the house bedroom, yeah. uh, and so now we've taken the master bedroom for us mm -hmm. and we're moving the classroom to the basement <laughs> he's supposed to be bed he's supposed to be night night oh, i love you kiddo you okay your little hairs are sticking up. You're like, hey, 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 Yes, that's right, you smart thing. Good night, Ellie Bell. Good night. <laughs> so, so basically, yeah, we moved everything around. Mm -hmm. Ellie's <laughs> upstairs now. We're upstairs now. Javen's in the basement. Classroom's in the basement. Yeah. So the only one that didn't move is Bella. She stayed yeah. in her room. <laughs> she, and she's ha perfectly happy. Yeah, with that, she likes yeah. that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and keep, keep looking, looking up. up.